Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and others. I am Jay Bird Walker, and I am here with Mr. Orange Live and Yolanda. And tell me about the award that's in your hand. Uh, it's an honorable mention award. I guess I got mentioned a lot three times for three different categories um, social justice, uh, my tell your truth event, and then for. Um, forgot the category exactly. <laughs> Tell us about the Tell Your Truth event. Get uh, the word out there. Tell Your Truth is a monthly open mic that, you know, I run with the help of my wife, my beautiful wife, Yolanda. Um, it's a monthly open mic that I run for free, giving back to the community. Um, we have different features. I got a grant from Riska. Thank you so much for the Royal Lion State Council of the Arts for the grant. Um, we're able to pay our artists, keep it free to the community and have the uh, artists come on out and perform. So, yeah, Tell Your Truth happens at Troop, 60 Valley Street, on the third Thursday of every month. Now, how did you get into spoken word yourself? Um, I got into spoken word. I, I grew up in New York City. I'm from Jamaica, South South Jamaica, Queens, where um, I just started writing to improve my handwriting. And then I started um, writing more poetry and reading it. Uh, eventually, I came to Providence, Rhode Island, where I met this beautiful, lovely lady. We grew a family, but um, during that time, I didn't, when I first came here, I didn't have any family, I didn't have anyone. Um, so I started performing to get back into a community or a sense of community. And of course, you were a part of that community as well. Thank you. Yes, true. Who is your favorite poet? My community friends. They're my favorite poets. I, I honestly believe that because, again, I came here with nothing. So you guys uh, make it, you know, feel great. He's leaving out that he has been inspired by all the poets here. He has always constantly expressed that and has learned from everyone who has been a part of his life in the open mics. And I have as well. <laughs> awesome. Now, what is next for you? Um, right now, I'm doing a small tour in Providence, Rhode Island. The small tour is just me, you know, going around. I have um, a bunch of events, like this community poetry reading coming up. I'm working with the city for the city council to perform for them. Um, the really big thing that's happening right now is I'm fighting to change the laws in the state of Rhode Island to increase the bid from 5000 to 10000 which would get artists paid more money. Uh, I fought last year to get artists um, direct deposit. Um, in the city of Providence, and of course, to increase the bid from 5,000 to 10,000 during the general election. Uh, it passed, but unfortunately, the state law has to change, so we're working on that right now. So that's really the biggest thing and my main concern. After that, then it's back to the poetry grind, which is me touring, releasing my third book of poetry, releasing a, um, a film that I have called Poetry World in One, which is me reintroducing poetry to the community, interviewing artists such as yourself in different forms of uh, spoken word um so that's really the main things that i've been working on of course being a father and a husband <laughs> great answer now how are you enjoying the evening so far how you been enjoying it i love it i'm able to of course see the great poets and the comics and have the night out from the kids <laughs> and most importantly to support my love and i'm happy to be out and Especially being that it's so cold out, to still have this community still show support for each other. And that's beautiful. Yes, it definitely is. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations again on the award. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy the rest of the evening.